Hello guys, what's up? Um, not too long ago, I had made a video, and in that video, I mentioned this flash, actually a couple of videos, and uh, this is a Bushnell flashlight that I got um, from Sam's Club. I've had it now for about two months. I actually bought it at Sam's Club while I was doing some uh, Christmas shopping. Um, and that's when I got this. Um, it has 2,000 lumens, has a high, high setting and a low setting. You should see some things pop up on the screen um, from the packaging, uh, giving you more, more details. But uh, as promised, I want to go over my experience with this real quick uh, so you can figure out help you figure out if this is something that you want to invest in as a professional driver or a professional ride you're driving professional. So here's the unit. There's the button there. Of course there's the LED. It doesn't turn, it doesn't go in and out, so it doesn't really zoom. We'll explain in a minute why I like this. Let me Turn off the lights and show you this in action. Okay, I'm going to turn off the lights here in just a minute and turn this on and show it to you. Up on the screen, you should see the high and low movement settings. I'm going to show them both. It does not have strobe, but I'm going to show it to you. Lights are off. We're going to 2,000. That's 2,000 movements. And we're going to go down. And that's the lower movement setting right there. So, 2,000. So let me show you something else I like about this flashlight. The big thing about this flashlight, even though it doesn't have strobe like my 511 and my other Bushnell small one that I have, one thing I like about it is the fact that it has a little bit of heft to it. So if you're in a situation and this is in your car nearby, you could use it to pow, 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 if you needed to. But of course, I would never suggest that, right? Um, other reason I like it is uh, CR123 batteries and other types of batteries, uh, they get expensive, uh, even, uh, you, you know, over time. Um, and yes, some flashlights, uh, you know, have a recharge packs to, you know, you take your light and you plug it up. I've had a 511 light in the past that did that, but, you know. But this one I like because what you do on the back here, you simply, see that right there? You simply lift up and there is a micro USB port right there for charging. Pretty slick. Now let me show you something else real quick. So charge, charging it is pretty, pretty simple. I've got this cable plugged into the wall. You can also plug it into your cigarette lighter, you know, that way too. Use your micro USB cable. Go over here. Open this up. Take your micro USB cable, stick it in, red light comes on, and it starts charging. Um, once it's full, the red light will go from red to green, and you'll know it's full. Now, I haven't used it yet so long that it's run out of battery, um, but um, it doesn't take long to charge up enough for what you need. I haven't gotten it low yet. Um, it, it, it really... It's really been a good flashlight. One, uh, definitely amongst one of the best and easiest uh, to use out there. And again, I got this a couple of months ago, guys. I was doing some Christmas shopping, and uh, I was at Sam's Club uh, in Virginia Beach. And this this unit cost me, I think, around $35, something like that. Um, and I'm very pleased with it. Now, while you're charging it, of course, the switch is up here. So you can't really hit the switch because it won't do anything because it's, you know... 
under the actual switch. The actual switch is under the rubber, but too far down to actually turn it on and off. And then let me show you this too. Then I'll plug this real quick. So I'm gonna turn this on. I'll put it on the lower setting real quick. That way it shouldn't be quite as bad. There we go. That's the lower setting. So watch what happens when I open this up. Hopefully you can see it. Try to make it so you can see it. Uh, you can see the light there, I hope. See the light. Okay, so I'm going to open this up. Watch the light. You see it? Maybe if I turn this one off, you can see it real quick. So you see the light from the flashlight. There. So once I open this up, okay, and I stick this in. I'm going to stick this in. Boom! The light will shut itself down and you can charge. And then let it out. Push it back. Hold on. Once you let once you of course you let that out, which I just did in the dark there. Push it back, hit it again. Boom, hit it one more time, boom. And the light will work again. So if you're using the light and it happens to be on and you forget to turn it off, when you do this, you can just plug it right on up. It'll shut down, and then when you're done, boom, hit it once, boom, hit it twice, it'll work again. So, there you go. Alright, so that's it guys. Thanks for watching this review of this uh, 2000 Lumen rechargeable flashlight from Bushnell. It cost me about $35 from Sam's Club. And I've had it now uh, since about uh, November, uh, late November. And uh, I really, really, really like it. Um, obviously, um, you know, um, it doesn't have a uh, zoom, it doesn't have strobe, but you need light for checking the back of your ride to your vehicle. Or if you are a motor coach captain slash truck driver like I am, you need it for other uses. Uh, it, it turns out great and, you know, heaven forbid, uh, you find yourself in a situation, it is hefty enough where you can use it uh, if you need to uh, as a last resort self-defense kind of uh, thing as well. Anyway, this is me uh, there in the video standing there uh, by, the, by the pier at St. Augustine Beach, uh, St. Augustine Beach, Florida. Uh, beautiful, warm, the water is warm enough. I just uh, had a chance while working doing some other non-tour bus work uh, to come out and enjoy the beach. Uh, so, if you're ever in St. Augustine, Florida, um, check it out. Uh, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful place. Wonderful people. Thanks for watching Rideshare 757 on YouTube. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And as always, drive safely and with skill. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for subscribing. Take care.